Yo, hey guys, Ken Perryman here, and I'm back again with another product, and it is this ceiling fan with lights. Uh, you've seen it, you're looking at it, right? And it's got this, it's a little dude, and check it out, it's in this littler box, and this guy is tiny, but it's curved in the blade so much that I think it's gonna kick some air, and I think more so that the, the fan I'm gonna replace is this one in here that's running right now. And I'm going to replace it because this one's more of a ceiling hugger than this guy. If you're tall enough, and even I, you reach up, you might hit your fingers against the blade. So I actually think this might be better in this room. Not so much important to you, but just as an idea, maybe you need something that hugs the ceiling a little bit more. So while we're talking about it, let's go ahead and take a look at it. And it is the Mapeo ceiling fan with light, and it has a user manual. Yeah, walks you through basically the very simple uh, installations that you can do to get this thing installed. So that's very interesting, simple enough. Okay, moving on, let's, let's just step right on, move on. <laughs> Nice packaging. If you're worried about this thing being damaged coming to you, I don't think you're gonna have to worry about that. Well, we'll see. Hopefully it's not damaged because that would make me so silly. That is really packaged well. Okay, let's keep this down. We'll go ahead and show you what this is. I know what this is. This is the packaging contents for the light. Here are, there are three blades. It's not even four blades, it's three blades. And uh, these guys are shorties. The, I, I am so curious about this, to be honest now. I am very, very curious about this now. Uh, this is, and there's again another Q, the other QR code for the app. I get it, you've got this for, so it's inside the bag. I, I know what this is. This is the remote control controller that you're going to hardwire into the fan. Yeah, you'll connect it to the fan, power connection, and then your antenna. Yeah, and then you have a remote here, which will operate the fan. Um, this is gonna be a pretty cool fan to try and check out and install. So I'm going to stuff that back in there real quick, like, and then show you here. Here is the body this is the body of the fan and i really like is that they have these are foam blocks that are going to push up against the ceiling and you got your lock mechanism on the side of the fan four locations that's not too shabby seems to be pretty well packaged it's not too heavy obviously it's not too heavy because you don't need that much power to move those little blades this is pretty much as far as we're going to go on this because the only thing that's next to do is to put this together and install it so we're going to go do that cool Now we're at square one to begin the install. All right, so simple enough. I just need a neutral in line in here, run my ground. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get done ahead of time. So what we're gonna do, get my two connections here. I pre-installed this, so I'm just gonna let this hang. And then once I have the open space in here, I'll be able to connect these in here. I do have a ground wire here. Okay, I'll worry about that a little bit later. What I do love is it's got this hook, so you can hook one of these eyelets into it and hang the lamp for a minute. But I've gotta get this guy installed first. Let's check for any nuts and bolts and screws in there. There they are there. Oh, they got some seriously good anchors. I don't know if I mentioned this before. It uh, comes with a glove, a single glove. Very nice. Let's get this going. That's the one thing you got to be careful of is not shooting it too far in. Okay. You got to get a little bit loose enough so that you can get this. We got these little jumper boxes here. So what's really nice too, this guy, put it in there, lock you down, and, and last but not least, you go. Okay, let's go ahead and put this on just to make it a little bit easier for everything across the board. So these have like small grooves in them, so you gotta keep it loose because you gotta tuck one under the other, it looks like. All right. Okay, hey, simple enough now. While this is going to be backwards to me, you should be able to see this pretty well. If you can hang this hook here while you connect the wires. And then this, okay. There you go. Solid. All right, we are almost there, y'all. Got one more thing to do. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. Okay. So there's a wire that's hanging out from the bottom and you'll see it. It connects right there to all these LEDs and then this magnet will lock itself against the, the plate here. 
Yep, see? So let's get those screws out. We'll get the back plate in. We'll connect the wire and snap it in. And then I believe this is just a twist on. Yes, it is. Okay, let's get started. All right. So the screws are already in the plate. Let's take these screws out. Go ahead and get one of these going. Go ahead, get this and this together. Get this plugged in. There we go. Kind of get that a little more centered. And then let's get this guy screwed in. All right, guys, we are not done because we've got to test this. And firstly, nice little wall bracket, but let's go ahead and get these batteries in. It's a very cute fan. Let's go ahead and get this in here. Get you in just a little bit closer. Okay. Okay, lights on. Speed one on the fan. Oh, that's speed one. Wow, that actually moves some air. That is very interesting. Speed two, speed three, four. I can hear it whooshing now. Right near the fan, it is pushing a lot of air. I am uh, really surprised being able to book as it does. It just, it's just moving quite quickly. All off, boom. Turns the fan and the light off all together. Turn it back on. Now that's just the light that you'll turn on. So you have on and off for the light. And then of course, if you just set to, I'm gonna set it to mode five and it's just gonna go right into really fast mode. Whether you're a fan of the fan or not, I really do appreciate your time. I hope this was helpful for you and I am out. Okay.